Today, I'm gonna to show you how to change a circuit breaker. Here's my breaker panel. This is the 50 amp breaker that goes to charge my car. It's 50 amps, two poles, 220 volts. Now when you charge, it can charge up to 32 amps, but it keeps on tripping, even though in the car you can reduce the amount of amperage to whatever you want. So I reduced it all the way up to 18 amps or so, and now it's even failing at 18 amps. So given that it's a 50 amp breaker, there's obviously something wrong with the circuit breaker. So just a disclaimer, I am an electrical engineer, not that I'm an electrician, but I do know the proper precautions to not touch live voltage. If you're unsure if you're gonna be touching live voltage, you probably shouldn't be doing this yourself. So disclaimer that this is for informational purposes only, just to cover my butt. But with that said, I'm just gonna open this up, change the breaker myself without calling the electricians. That's probably gonna cost you a couple hundred dollars and just do it myself. Let me show you guys what that charger looks like. This is one end of the Tesla charger, and this is a 220 volt plug. This kind of looks like the one that goes in your dryer. It originally came with another one that goes to your regular plugs, and the other end of this is what plugs into the car. This goes up to 32 amps, so it is quite beefy at 220 volts. This is what, seven kilowatts or so. So it's a level two charger. First thing that you wanna do is turn off the circuit breaker, the one that you want to switch out and open up this panel thing. I actually only have a voltmeter, but this is even more precise than one of those things that checks if there's a live voltage. The thing with the voltmeter is that you can touch voltages with this. Just make sure that you are not touching it with your finger. So across these two right here is 220 volts. I can go like this. You can see it reads 248. You can read the reading over here. So between this bar over here, which is ground, and one of the terminals here, it should read 100. What is it? Oh, it's off right now, so I'm gonna turn it back on. It's reading 124 volts, and the other one, which is the other phase, is 123.7 volts. So I'm gonna turn this off because I don't wanna touch live voltage, and then I'm gonna measure this again, and now it says 0.98 volts, and the other one says 1.1 volt AC. So this is actually safe to touch, although I still, just out of precaution, I'm not gonna touch it even though I just measured it but I'm going to use this screwdriver with a rubber handle over here and open this up. Open up the other one, pull these wires out. These are not live voltages now. I'm gonna put it over here, being careful not to touch it, just out of precaution. And then what you can do with this breaker, cause I wanna replace it, you just firmly pull it over here um, on this side and it actually locks down on this side. So you just kind of pull it like this and this whole thing loosens up. See, there's a catch on this and it locks onto one of the bars and it snaps like that in. I have purchased one from Home Depot just now. This 50 amp breaker only costs about $10 and it seems like this one inch height stuff is a bit cheaper. Actually, I wanna put in the, the wire here just so that I can see it a bit better before I push it in there. You can see I'm opening up that thing, this other wire in there, screw that terminal in. They're both in pretty well. I'm gonna go make sure the circuit breaker is off. Lock it in, push it. Just kinda... Okay, it's in. Put the wires nice and tight over there and uh, it should do it. Let me turn it on. Okay, this is my charger. I just gotta put the panel back on. Let me do this. I can actually change it to 32 amp max and I can purposely just start charging. And let's see if it can go up to 32 amps. It's 243 volts, two amp, 34, 32. So this is a pretty decent charge rate, 27 mile an hour. Here's my old breaker and it's as simple as that. This is probably a really, really old breaker, like 20 years old or something. So 
uh, that's why it needed some replacement. Thanks for watching, everybody.